This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Monday, March 11th, 2019. The title of this rant is Jarvanka, the icing on the swamp. And this swamp is just getting worse and worse. So uh, it came out last week that both Jar uh, Jared and Jarvanka were initially denied their security clearance. Daddy had to step in for him. Uh, of course, he's, he can do this. Uh, but the, the House of Representatives and the, Intellig and, and the Intelligence Committee wanted to know why he had done it. They're refusing that, of course. That swamp that's already in the White House has leaked that to them. But if we go back to the two of them, Jared and Javanka are in the White House solely for the purpose of lining their pockets with as much moolah as they possibly can, regardless and, and over and above the interest of the United States. And the reason for that is because that's who they are. They both live, let's just call it, in the uh, primordial ooze of the swamp where they use their power and influence to basically screw, um, uh, gouge, uh, get ill-begotten gains of people who are much worse off than they are. That's their sole, that's their sole purpose in life. All right, now, when we knowing about what it takes to get a security clearance, and we'll let's talk about just uh, Jared right here. So. He's got to put his security clearance class stuff in. He's not going to do it. He's got a couple of lawyers doing it. He tells them what to do. They can go back 10 years, every meeting, every phone call, every email, every trip overseas, everyone he talked to, they can get all that stuff together. But basically he says, no, I'm not going to give them all this stuff. I've got some people I don't want them to know about. So he didn't do it, which would have screwed anybody else of getting a security clearance. All right. And, uh, and he did that on several occasions. He also, at one point in time, wanted to be able to travel, let's just say incognito, to a Soviet, you know, halfway house, safe house or whatever, and use Soviet equipment to have a back channel to the Kremlin. That's what he wanted to do as they were getting, as the, uh, I think the transition was going on. And remember, he has been buddies with MBS of Saudi Arabia and he is using, meaning he, meaning Jared, is using his influence right now to try and get us in a war with Iran. Now remember, Obama had a deal with Iran, which was with France, Germany, the United, uh, uh, England, um, China, and with Russia, and Iran is still abiding by those regulations, but MBS doesn't want it. He wants to acquire nuclear weapons on his own. He wants to be the de facto ruler of the caliphate there and that whole, whole area over there. And Jared gave him information so that he could do a crackdown on his extended family in Saudi Arabia, even killing some and shaking them down for approximately what we think might be as much as a trillion dollars. That's who the guy Jared is, because guess what? He's going to use MBS and all the money over there to bail him out of his failing business practice that are over here. So, you know, we need to get rid of this guy and, and, and his family. And we know that they are only there for themselves. And the thing is, we've got to get Jared indicted before he gets us into a war with Iran. So the resistance must continue.